they've had a major, major, I'm talking about major flood. They've had levee banks around here and that sort of thing to protect the, this little area. Um, bins are already out to the curb. So I'll go through those because he'll probably, he'll allow me to do that. Uh, just spotted that there's some in here. Thought I'd go through this. So did I just see a light? No, I didn't. Um, but yeah, I'll show you a bit of the water today and that sort of thing. Still got a couple left over from the last pickup. Oh, pair of gloves sitting there still from last week. And I didn't bring me grabber. Ooh, big spider there. Big spider. Don't want the gloves. No need for the gloves, they're wet anyway. Anyway, let's get into this one. Pity I didn't grab it. Would have been handy today. on that. Just put them out on the ground. Nothing in the box. Can only get what we can today. The, um, didn't break, thank God. Um, the river has been up fairly well. Like, even across the road, it's got water in the, in the yard. And, uh, it never used to get there. So it must have come up about, so the river must have come up about 7.7, 7, 7.8, 7 somewhere around there. I don't know what it come to. I wasn't here. No. Put that one in, but we won't get that one in there. The wind's taking them away. I'm just sitting down there. No, you're not going out there. Right, let's go and put them in the car and get the other one out of the other one. Out of the can out of the other bin. Ugh. Oh, come on, go down. That breeze is cold. It's like winter all over again. Hmm. Let's see if I can just do that. Get out of the road, spider. Oh, no. <sighs> Seesaw it. Very hard on the belly. Got them everywhere.
same label on that one. What? Look back in there. Must have got pretty high to have water in here. That is one big pump. That one over there. Anyway, we get to undo these ones here. He's put them out probably yesterday. Um, the yellow one doesn't usually go out, but we'll have a look at it. We might be able to return it back into the yard for him. There's some in there. Okay. There might be some in there too. Why not? We'll have a look anyway. Put that one there. Something in that one. Yeah, we don't usually have water like that. Yeah. Oh, that's got some in it. We shall do this one first. Nothing else there. Only a smelly mess. We'll get into this one. Only paper from when they do the um, do their linen and stuff. Oh, here we go. I might sit that in the back for a second. Empty all the cabins out and all that sort of thing, so no, I think that's it. Looks like it. Oh, yeah, I can go into there. Maybe a full beer. Maybe. Hasn't been opened. There's a bottle of water. It's all out of that.
wishes wind to go away. Come right through me that. Brr. I used to live in the snow, but no, no more. Got away from the snow. In the warmer climates, and that doesn't seem to have helped. It just keeps chasing you. that into there. There won't be a follow-up today. I'll put these through with it as we go through for the day. Make it a decent video. But then again, I could change my mind. If I get a bit more. See how things progress, I suppose. issue at the moment. I get back and deal with what we're dealing with it. Where we're taking care of. We're gonna start moving things higher the ground too. There's um got notification yesterday that the, it's still letting water in. Having our ups and downs. But who doesn't when you got problems like floods? Yucky mess today because all the water. Alright, empty that out. This one here.
bucks. Brand new pair of hard jacket boots. That's the box for them. Right, we're just going to get that into that. Ooh, I'd better go pick that up. Stand on that one. Chappy, oh, he appreciates that I do do what I do. Let's narrow it down to one bin for him. Oh, found out a bit of information. The river came up to about 7.6, 7.7. Um, where I just was, he, I was talking to him there and he was saying it broke his banks and that sort of thing and he had that big pump there for because it broke his banks but they didn't close the, the bridge up here or anything like that um, so yeah, but anyway, we'll go and have a look at that after I finish here Let's see what we get out of these a couple here do too bad for the day really well pick, getting cans cartons plastic and glass uh, it can be an up and down sort of thing you get a good streak and you can get a magnificent streak what I mean by that is you can get a lot or you can get very little. It all depends on what, what's going on at the time, where you get it from, how you get it, and all that sort of thing. That's just what I've had to deal with. Like I've got places I'm allowed to go to. Wow, look at those little white little things. Bit of fish bait. It's empty. Empty, but I'll still take it because they're aerosol cans, aluminium ones at that. That's a tin one. <coughs> Close your mouth. <coughs> Close your mouth. Tch. Not going any further with that one. Oh, dear. I've never had to do that one. Do that before. <coughs> Choking insect. All right, that one go. That one there. That one there. Gonna leave that bit of foil. That one will go. Right, that's it there. We got a little bit. A little bit's better than none. lady here that always puts her, hers out in a orange bag I collect it for her and I go and put it through she drinks a fair bit of stuff this is once a fortnight once every two weeks she 
actually not home at the moment because she's been flooded out. So put that into there and I'll put it in the bin later. This one's always waiting every two weeks. Always wrapped up in a bag. Just collected at the door. Sometimes I check that bin. Got a whole heap of clothes in it. I didn't want to disturb them. They do allow you to go through that one. All these people do. I'm going to get around that muddy mess now. Let's go. Bit more of a view of where the water would have come up to. I got a feeling it would have come up to about here, where my foot is. Um, so it has subsided a fair bit. That's the that's looked like where the water mark is from what I can see. Like it's up, looks like it was up around here. So that's a fair drop. That is a fair drop. Oh, I've got a funny feeling it's back down on the seven meter mark. Can see down here on the road where it's actually been. Oh, I think I'm correct on where the where it did come to. You can see that all the water there where it was. Um, there's even a drum in there that's floated down from wherever. We've got debris here. Um, yeah, this is going to take a bit of a clean up when it does subside. It's probably on 7.1 at the moment because I can't see the 7, seven metre mark in the bridge there. So, yeah, it's about 7.1. It's going to take a lot for this park to come back to life. They'll probably have to take out the huts and that sort of thing. Probably a big clean up of the uh, office, that sort of thing. I probably won't be able to access here for probably another... Oh, I'm thinking till next year. That's just my predicament. But um, not my predicament, my, my estimation, I should say. Um, like, it's a little bit of a loss of an income from for me. Uh, I can't do much about it. But... Um, yeah this is what happens when a flood comes through you get loss of income from cans cartons and plastic it's just the way it is uh, it has been into their huts over here See, there's the drum there's a hut right in the center of screen birds are loving it at the moment so they're talking about more more rain and that sort of thing. I don't want no more rain, man. Come on. <laughs> We've had enough. We're sick of the floods. But anyway, that's what happens with Mother Nature. And this is the other side, like I was saying, the debris right there. Like, it's got a good flow on it here. So they have got levee banks around the park, but not high enough so they wouldn't have been able to save it they've got to basically have a a, a big wide levee bank the pretty much the width of this road right here and as high as what the bridge is just to save the park now that's a lot of lot of manpower to try and save it it is a council run park uh, i will let you know that that it is a council run um, i did give a bit of an insight last week about the bridge here um i think it was last week or many videos back um so yeah we'll go over the other side and we'll have a look at the levee bank what, what it is at the moment i'd love to have seen how that floating pontoon got, got about you know on how high it would have been i got a funny feeling it probably went over this railing right here down there um, that's about a half a metre up the railing there, you can see all the debris in it, on it, so it got up a fair distance, probably almost to the top of the roof in that little hut there, that's an old pumping station hut from when they used to have boats many years ago, I think they used to have boats in here for uh, freight and that sort of thing up and down the river before they actually put the old concrete bridge in, before mostly it all went road freight and that sort of thing road freight's a lot quicker now so yeah it will be a while before this goes down 
like this is the main Bridgie River. Uh, the Murray's just as bad. It's further down south. Uh, they're copping it as well. So there's a lot of water around. A lot of destruction. But it is on the down down side of it um, that it is going down, which is good. It's a good thing. So yeah, I can't tell you much about it other than um, the town didn't flood, all because of this high levee bank. It's a fairly high levee bank. It's probably about I'm on the walking path at the moment. Uh, it would have been. Yeah, it looks like it was up here. It was up to there. So it was covering it. You can see all the, how the water is here, how it's all, well, the ground, I should say, not the water, how the water's actually flowed over it. Be nice to see if there's any gold in there. <laughs> We're not digging down that far, thank you very much. Uh, but anyway, um, that's the water for you. That's an update on the river. Unreal. Back at the machine again. I've had the liberty of unloading this. While I've been waiting for people to use the machine. Answering messages, all that sort of thing. So let's put this through, find out how much we're going to get for the little bit that we have got for the day. Um, like I said, there's not much we can do with the floods. It's only what I can get at the time. So what we do get, it's a bonus. So let's just get into this. Get the ball roll on the spokes. Every little bit counts though. You know, what, you don't, what you can't get is not always what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, it's appreciate that I can go and get this. A lot of areas where I do normally go, I can't go because there's too much water. Doing all right though, we've already got about six dollars there. Sixty units for true. That's not too bad for the glass. One place. For well, one place, it's damn good. Like they've had no one camping there. No one's been booked in or anything like that, so pretty damn good I reckon. Strong with you. Oh, I just tore the barcode. Let's see if it goes through. <laughs> it went through and I tore the barcode. <laughs> wow. All right, so that is 79 units, $7.90. Can't see it because it's on the screen. Pull that out. Get to and put the, the cans through now.
78 units. Just a bit of an update on our lake, where we are, what we maintain. This is between the two lakes that we usually have, which is now one lake. It's still rising. I did hear yesterday that it might be up probably another half a metre. That's a fair way. Like at the moment, there's a bottle floating out there. I can't even get out there. I haven't got my gum boots on. My old galoshes. Um, at the moment, just centre of screen, you can barely see the rail. Now that rail is about 250 high in centre of screen. Um, yeah, definitely no way going through that. No way. It washed away with the with the waves. So yeah, we'll go on and have a look how much we've got in where we're actually maintaining. Yesterday we had to get to and raise our barbecue. Um, this is one where they put a coin in and a, a dollar coin and it operates that way. But um, it's well to the bottom of that. I've had to disconnect the gas a whole lot. So she's non-operational. Right up against the slab. Got a table over here that's underwater. Another one right here. And we've got things banging against something over there. Another table underwater. Like you think about it, a week ago, there's more water coming in here. Um, but a week ago, against that base of the tree, I you did have a blue drum, which we class them as bins here, which I've had to put them all over here because of this water coming up. If it does come up any higher, um, we have a drum here where it goes into a pump section which pumps water up up the hill and that sort of thing um, We'll have to turn that off got a cord running on on top of the ground there because there's no power going underground at the moment Not because of the flood water. Oh, we've got a railing that's come loose Damn, I may have to um, Do some whaling out there and get some rails out We've got things coming apart. Uh, we've got new signs in, that sort of thing. Don't have any problems with launching the boat at the moment. But uh, when you come down this way, there's not much room for the boat ramps at the moment. I oh, can't even turn the boat around. You've got to back it down. The water's not usually this high. This is one, oh God knows, you know, um, no one's ever seen it this high. That's this one. Uh, the Murrumbidgee River where I was this morning, what I showed you at the caravan park, that sort of thing. That's totally different to this place here. Better get that out of the road. Um, but yeah, I helped put this sign in over the weekend. Um, wasn't in water then. Now it's out in water. The water was actually on that white pole there. It's still rising, all these signs we've put in. We're slowly, well, I don't have to mow much, it's a good thing. Uh, slowly and slowly losing our grounds. Uh, you come down here, take us down a bit further. Like our clubhouse at the moment is fairly high up there, so that's safe. This is what I maintain. Take care of. We won't need to worry about the barbecue up there. But um, yeah, I helped put that sign in there. Skiing this side. So it will become one lake at the moment. We're getting that much rain, it's unbelievable. I started fixing that con that control tower, they call that the start go finish line uh, for when they've got big massive boats out here they may be having them back soon too which is good um, 
I can't even get in there now. So I've got to put that in on a bit of a back burner. The only way I can get across there now is by building a, a boat bridge. So our sprinklers are actually underwater. Well, the taps are anyway. I don't need the water out there. There's water there. I won't get a mower down this section. I've got to nose it down. Uh, the old tree here, I thought it was going to die, but it's still got some life in it, which is good. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot of water here at the moment. A uh, fairly big area that we do maintain. I mow all of this up there. It's a nice area here. We don't mind it at all, actually. It's all nice and green. Down here, I won't be able to get down there with a mower unless it's a push mower. Now, when it comes to pushing stuff, they won't allow me to get out with a push mower. So, but anyway, we've got a couple of boys there that need lifting. They're going underwater. It's truth. They're floating pond, floating things, that's what they call buoys here in Australia. Oh, they've got it on a tap, on a sprinkler. Can't barely see that one. Down here they've got um, a couple of huts down this way too. I definitely won't be able to mow that. That's going to get long. Damn. He's almost a right on job down here. Things I've got to tackle while I'm here. Yeah, I'll get a right on mower through here. Yeah, this wasn't this high last time. Uh, last time I came down this way when I mowed it. There's an actual island out there. I've never seen it this high. Damn. Wow, <laughs> that has come up, oh, probably four inches, oh, more, because there's more huts around the corner there, here we'll go out the back, this is how many huts are out the back, wow, oh, they brought the barbecues out, pulled the bin out, <laughs> damn, that's a lot of water. Well, it looks like we've got a bit of rubbish to clean away. It's all right, we'll do that. Yeah, no worries. Yep. Wow. Unreal. Oh, my pile of dirt's all washed away. My good soil. Oh, well. Not much I can do about it now. Anyway, let's go and see how much we actually got for the day. That's just a bit of an update on our lake here. I hope everyone enjoyed tagging along with me today. Me showing you all the flood water around here. Uh, the Moanbridge River is about 35 k's away from where we are here at the moment. This is the place we maintain and take care of. It's got a lot, a lot of water as well. Um, so what we got for the day was $25.70. That was in total. In the cans we got, I'll put a screenshot up now. Just in the cans, $17.80. In the glass we got $7.90. I think that's what it says. I can't see it without my glasses, but I hope that's correct. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed tagging along. Me showing you all the flood water and that sort of thing. Now, um, sharing what I do and that sort of thing what I get about and to see around here and yeah I'm trying to put up with the mosquitoes at the moment trying to hold the camera with my hand uh, and get a good shot for everyone um, so yeah if you've come this far in the video everyone don't forget to smash that like button and if you consider subscribing don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out so on that note everyone I'm going to end it off there. 
I didn't get much for the day, but I'm not worried about not getting much. It's a matter of I've been out and about, had my break away from here. Now it's time to get back to work and get back to the grind. So anyway, signing off. I'll punch this one out, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!